All right, my name is Joe Rivers. Um, my project is a gear pump. I'm doing this for my final project for mechanical what MEC two seventy one dash oh one. Um, I'm gonna have to show my gear pump. I'm not an AutoCAD person. I did my drawings in solid, solid edge. Um, I use Solid Edge and Pro E a lot, and I didn't. I got a student version at home, and I didn't know how to get the drawings into my PowerPoint. So I'm gonna show you. I got a part here that I, I designed. I, when I when I did the part, I didn't figure in that um, the plastic. You know, it, it don't seal as good, so it, it's not a working model. But um, I got my rear plate, gear plate, and front plate. And I got two spur gears inside here. And during normal operation, these plates have a finish of maybe like 32. Uh, if you can, sometimes you can't get that kind of tight finish. But they'll seal, they'll, they'll make a seal, and you don't have to use any rubber, seal, rubber seals or anything. And, and these, these gears, uh, the tolerances are so close that it will suck whatever fluid, you know, through an inlet and pump, pump out through an outlet. Okay, um, this model won't work, like I said, because it don't seal as good. Um, they're using different operations, including hydraulic fluid operations, chemical installations, food grade products. During food grade products, you have to use a, like a stainless, you know, and, and, and then you got the factor in with your gears, you don't want anything to be able to break off, so you got to heat treat your gears a certain level. Um, you got oil operations. Um, anything re requires fluid to be pumped. Um, the, depending on the viscosity of the fluid, it would, it, that would determine how fast you, this pump will pump. You can't pump, with these gears, you can't pump too I think it's 3,000 3, RPM. Over 3,000 RPM is too much vibration and it causes too much noise. But these, these pumps are good. Um, company I work for, we use them. This is sort of similar to what we use as a paint pump. We, we use them and we pump um, the military using the paint there, Humvees. And um, they call it a paint pump. They're, they're dispensable, they throw them away about $5,000 a piece and about this size. And the, the way, like I said, the way it works, it uses meshes gears. The gears, the tolerances are so close that it, 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 make, it makes a suction. And when the, when the gears pull apart, it sucks the, the fluid into an inlet and pumps it through the outlet. Um, these gears, these pumps are not used you can't pump, pump any um, solid material, but there are certain pumps uh, that we have two screw and three screws that pump solid materials. Um, this 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 pump will fail if it get. You have to use a screen mesh in the inlet. Inlet. This pump will fail if you you get solid material in it, sand, anything. Speed of rotation, maintain the suction. The housing and the gear design and material depends on that, the, the, the housing material, uh, okay. The housing material and the gear, does, the gear um, will determine what type pressures you can pump with these pumps. Um, M4, D4, M2, those, those type materials uh, are generally hard and you can you can use a pretty good, pre you, you can get a good pressure with that, but you have to have, using that uh, high pressure, you have to have a relief valve in some of these pumps. I don't, I, don't, I didn't put one in this one, but um, uh, let's see. like I said, it's not a good pump to pump silence. Don't pump at high flow rates. They're just used to move material. Uh, the, the way the paint pumps work, it, it'll build a pressure, 
and and you can get a pump like that but it is it's not it's not used to move a whole lot of material at one time um, typically use you got to have to use a gear reducer most times it's an outside gear here and you have to use a bigger gear and it, it controls the revolutions of spin on this or either a belt drive system and like I said it has a fixed flow rate generally you can't you know you can't speed up and control you know the flow as, as some of these some other pumps are when choosing a pump various factors to look at fluid viscosity the higher the viscosity the, the lower the speed will be or, or water you can probably crank it all the way up to 3,000 3, RPM um, operating speed the temperature fluctuations um, if it's, out, it's used outside in a cold environment the, your fluid's going to have a higher viscosity you know it's going to seize a little bit more so you, you got to when you have this pump set outside you got to monitor it because the outside temperature can affect the pump and that's it It's 3D printed. Um, looking at it now, if I did, if I did, I thought this, I thought the 3D print I could, would have had a better tolerance, you know. And I thought I could make a working pump, but it, the tolerances are too open in this these 3D printers, and um, they're not solid parts, so I couldn't really sand them or, or polish them to get a good finish, so I could I can get a suction. Yeah, looking at it now, I would have chose something different, but. Industrial 3D printer. Yeah. yeah, I didn't do that. I did on a make a bot. Did you calculate the gears? Yeah, I got the gears calculated on this one as a two to one. In my um, presentation here, um, it, it, um, in my report, it um, depending on what what you want to pump, it, it goes. It's a lot into the gears. You know how how much you want to pump. You, the pitch of the gears. The um, man, like I got this as a two to one. The, the driving gear, it's a little bit bigger than the driven gear. So it's, 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 it's calculated as a two to one if it would have worked. So it would have had a little bit more pressure. Colfax fluid handling. <laughs> Military throw them. We do about 200 a month. Instead of cleaning them out, they toss them and buy more. They're doing very well. <laughs> well, if the gas picked back up, that's our biggest industry.